we've, uh, you've just received the Nobel Prize. Uh... <laughs> now, if you do things like that someday, your mouth will stick that way and you will never be able to get it back. <laughs> Well, Perfect. he certainly seemed like a nice fella, didn't he? Yes. Certainly was. <laughs> Have you, do you ever, to this day, go out in front... Can you still go out in front of a nightclub audience and just bomb? Is it possible? I mean, once you've gained all that acceptance and all oh, that... Oh, sure. Of course. Really? I mean... It's just, easy. I don't... I, I can't believe it. Because you've got all that going for you. You've got years and years of... Well, that used to be that used to be the case. I think that when you had so much going for you, you could walk out and you were accepted, and you could hardly do anything wrong. But not today anymore. We live in too 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 bright a society. People are too aware, and the economy is such that uh, you can't even wing a show and look to find marvelous, magical things that you used to do, for fear that you may impair that show. And you have people sitting in a nightclub who are going for eighty or hundred dollars, and you better do everything you know works, and do that seventy, seventy-five minutes, and be sure they've been entertained. You just can't, as they say, cock around anymore. Is you've, that a, got to, you've got to go out and work. Yeah. And yet, or they'll sense that, that they're not getting their money's worth, that he's just throwing this one away. Well, you're just taking a chance. Experimenting. Yeah, a, you're taking a chance. But you're an improviser. You can't. I love to improvise, but yeah. within the context of what I know is solid and I can always revert back to so that they will indeed get their money's worth. Whereas I used to jump away from what I had planned and just go totally insane. Yeah. And two out of maybe four of those would work. But you can't do that today. Or did you still teach at UCLA? USC. Oh, I'm sorry, USC. That's all right. Well, I had one of the letters right. Or two of them, actually. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. You, you did a film class. You do a film class there. Yes, yeah, a class yeah. on direction. And it's really very rewarding. I learned a lot teaching. You're actually on the faculty. Do you get a paycheck? And oh, and yeah, $440 and a year. Is that so? $110 a semester pays for the parking and tickets. <laughs> but I'm very proud of that uh, association with the university. It's the finest cinema school in the world. Do you, well, you, you've got giant success very young. When you first hit big, you were still in your... 18. Teens. Yeah. Well, who did you go to for advice? Uh, you must have uh, made a lot of mistakes then. I mean, there are rumors that you... You gambled all your money away that you did all kinds of things you know, at that age. How much of that is true? Some. Yeah. <laughs> and you never gamble all your money away or you're a fool. No, there's a legend in the business that you and your partner had, oh, something in five figures worth of a stock that would now be worth 400 million and that, but you were young and high-spirited and... It, no, it I had the stock. I bought, uh, I bought Polaroid at $1.75 a share and I bought 10,000 shares. And uh, today, uh, they would be worth about $19 million. But I sold them at $170,000, because I had a car payment. <laughs> <laughs> but I got some news for you, sweetheart. When you have a car payment, $170,000 is $19 million. I'd like to have seen that car. You could have gotten a train for $170,000. <laughs> well, no, amazing. but I sold it because I really thought at $17, I had done very well. Yeah. And uh, I had no recourse. What I should have done was keep 5,000 shares, but mm -hmm. I sold them all, and I bought my wife a brown coat. <laughs> Cloth? Uh. Yes, she's a Catholic. Oh, I see. They, they won't wear fur, is it? That... Uh, you're kidding. No, I don't know. What... Don't you know that? I... No. Oh, of course. I didn't know I've been that. trying to get the purple off her feet for 28 years. <laughs> Oh, dear. 